Hey, Leonard, check this out. <laughs> Leonard, she's doing it again. I think it upsets Sheldon when you play with the food. <laughs> no, it upsets Sheldon when she willy-nilly takes it from the containers without regard for its equitable distribution. This is essentially why you have famine in India. You want me to put it back? Leonard? It upsets Sheldon when you play with the Sheldon. <laughs> What's up, my nerd dizzles? Raj, Sheldon, I want you to meet my girlfriend, Bernadette. Hello. Leonard, Penny, you know my girlfriend, Bernadette. Uh, hey. <laughs> Bernadette, say faux shizzle to my nerd dizzles. I don't think I can. I don't have Howard Street cred. No, no, it's all right. I told my girlfriend, Bernadette, she could join us for dinner. Sure, the more the merrier. But no, that's a false equivalency. More does not equal married. If there were 2,000 people in this apartment right now, would we be celebrating? No, we'd be suffocating. Sheldon. But Sheldon, me, we ordered for five people, not six. Oh, come on, it's fine. We'll just put it all on the table. You know, family style. Oh, sure. And while we're at it, why don't we put our hands behind our backs, have an old-fashioned eating contest? Relax, it'll be fine. Sit down, you guys. No! no. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't sit there. Why not? That's where Sheldon sits. He can't sit somewhere else? Oh, no, no, you see, in the winter, that seat is close enough to the radiator so that he's warm, yet not so close that he sweats. In the summer, it's directly in the path of a cross breeze created by opening windows there and there. It faces a television at an angle that isn't direct, so we can still talk to everybody, yet not so wide that the picture looks distorted. Perhaps there's hope for you after all.